Can a daily vitamin be a hidden danger? Imagine thinking a supplement is safe, only to end up in the emergency room with severe kidney damage. This happened to a 55-year-old woman, and today we'll look into her story and how you can avoid the same mistake. In December 2022, a 55-year-old woman with kidney disease was rushed to the ER. She was very weak, had a slow heart rate, noticeable swelling, and a very low body temperature of just 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Fearing her kidney condition was worsening, doctors checked her creatinine levels. They were shocked to find her levels had shot up to 3,530 mg per deciliter, much higher than two months earlier. This meant her kidneys were failing fast. She wasn't producing urine and her body was full of toxins. She was quickly moved to the ICU and put on dialysis that same day. Doctors were puzzled by her rapid kidney decline. After many tests, they found the surprising cause, a common vitamin supplement taken by many. This harmless-seeming supplement was actually very dangerous for her. It shows that not only prescription medications can be risky, but over-the-counter vitamins too. There are five specific vitamins that can be hazardous if not used correctly, especially for people with kidney disease. While avoiding all vitamin supplements can also harm kidney health, it's crucial to know what you're taking. This incident is part of a larger trend of people being hospitalized due to inappropriate vitamin use. Recently, a TikTok influencer got kidney stones from taking vitamins to boost her immune system. Earlier this year, a 61-year-old man suffered severe pain, initially thought to be pancreatitis, but it was later linked to his vitamin use. Another alarming case involved a patient who experienced constant vomiting, severe leg cramps, and lost 28 pounds after just a month of taking too many vitamins, leading to kidney damage. These stories highlight the importance of being informed about the supplements you take knowing the right dosages, and understanding the risks. Patients with kidney disease are especially at risk because their kidneys can't effectively remove excess vitamins, causing dangerous buildup and putting their kidney health further at risk. Understanding the safe use of vitamin supplements is very important, especially for people with kidney problems. By knowing the risks and managing vitamins properly, you can avoid health issues and protect your kidneys. If you regularly take supplements, you should be careful, especially with certain vitamins. Today we'll look at 5 vitamins that can be dangerous if taken incorrectly or by people with kidney conditions. It's important to be cautious with these vitamins. Let's start with the least dangerous. Number 5. Vitamin D Vitamin D is essential for kidney health. However, because it is fat-soluble, the body can store it in excess, leading to problems such as hyperphosphatemia and hypercalcemia. These conditions can cause artery calcification and, in severe cases, even kidney injury, to stay safe, you should generally take about 2,000 IU of vitamin D daily, combined with 100 microgram of vitamin K2 and magnesium. This helps prevent artery calcification and keeps vitamin D levels safe. Sharing this information, especially with those who have chronic kidney disease, can be very beneficial. We also have a detailed video on the link between vitamin D and kidney health, which you can find in the description below. Be cautious with vitamin supplements to protect your health. Number 4. Vitamin B12 Number 4 on our list of concerns is cyanocobalamin, the synthetic form of vitamin B12. Unlike its natural counterpart, methylcobalamin, cyanocobalamin is made in a lab because it's cheaper. It's commonly found in many multivitamins and is widely used. However, it can be risky, especially for people with chronic kidney disease, CKD. Cyanocobalamin contains tiny amounts of cyanide, which is indicated by its name. While healthy people can process and eliminate this cyanide without problems, people with poor kidney function cannot. In those with reduced kidney function, the ability to clear cyanide decreases, potentially leading to toxic buildup and worsening kidney damage. Research shows that high doses of cyanocobalamin can produce small amounts of cyanide during metabolism. For those with CKD, this could speed up the decline in kidney function. Therefore, individuals with kidney issues should choose methylcobalamin instead. This natural form of vitamin B12 is safer and is generally recommended at a dose of 6 micrograms daily, especially for people on a plant-based diet. It's important to know that synthetic vitamin B12 is poorly absorbed. Because of this, manufacturers often add large amounts of cyanocobalamin to supplements, sometimes 100 times the recommended daily intake RDI. These high levels aim to ensure enough absorption but can also increase the risk of cyanide buildup for those with kidney problems. 
While it's crucial for people with kidney issues to take vitamin B12 supplements to prevent deficiency, which could lead to serious health problems like vascular disease and anemia, they should choose their vitamin B12 form wisely. Number 3. Vitamin E Continuing our countdown, the third spot highlights a common vitamin that can pose serious health risks. Studies have linked this everyday vitamin to various health problems, including high blood pressure, increased chances of stroke and cancer, bone loss, higher cholesterol levels, and kidney damage. Despite these dangers, this vitamin is still widely used in many products. It is crucial to avoid alpha-decopherol. The synthetic form of vitamin E regular viewers know that I always advise against taking vitamin E supplements if you have kidney disease. The problem with alpha-decopherol is its widespread use. It is added to supplements, powders, drinks, and food items. For people with kidney disease, the risks of this synthetic vitamin are particularly severe. Natural vitamin E, on the other hand, can be beneficial. It is a powerful antioxidant and is seen as important for managing and treating kidney disease. Despite these benefits, I strongly recommend not taking vitamin E supplements unless your healthcare provider tells you to. This is especially important for synthetic versions of the vitamin. For those wanting to safely add vitamin E to their diet, getting it through food is the best option. Sunflower seeds, for instance, are very nutritious and rich in natural vitamin E. Just one ounce of these seeds can provide up to 66% of your daily vitamin E requirement, making them a valuable part of a healthy diet. While natural vitamin E has its benefits, the synthetic version, alpha-decopherol, carries significant risks and should be avoided. Be especially cautious about this. Number 2. Vitamin A Vitamin A is important for health, but can be harmful if taken in high amounts, especially for people with chronic kidney disease, CKD. Damaged kidneys can't properly filter and remove extra vitamin A, causing it to build up and become toxic. This can result in serious health problems like liver damage, birth defects, and worsened kidney issues. People with CKD should avoid regular multivitamins that contain vitamin A common brands like Centrum and Smarty Pants might be unsafe for them. Foods high in vitamin A, such as fish liver, can also cause problems. While this is rare, Eating too much of these foods can lead to acute kidney injury and hospitalization. It's essential for CKD patients to carefully manage their vitamin A intake to avoid toxicity and further kidney damage. Regular over-the-counter multivitamins might have unsafe levels of vitamin A for those with low kidney function. In summary, while vitamin A is necessary for health, its intake must be monitored, especially in people with existing kidney conditions, to prevent additional health risks. Number one. Vitamin C. The top item on our list is vitamin C. Let's look into the serious case of a 55-year-old woman who suffered severe kidney damage. This highlights a critical health issue related to a popular supplement, vitamin C. In her daily routine, she took multiple supplements including calcium, digestive enzymes, cranberry, a daily multivitamin, vitamin D, and especially vitamin C. While all these were part of her health strategy, only vitamin C led to rapid and severe health decline. Doctors were confused by the quick worsening of her kidney function until a detailed kidney biopsy showed a massive buildup of oxalate crystals. This condition is directly linked to high vitamin C intake. She was taking 1,000 mg of ascorbic acid daily, a common dose meant to boost immunity and prevent vitamin deficiency. However, this was a big mistake for her weak kidneys. Vitamin C is usually praised for its benefits like antioxidation, immune boost, and better iron absorption. But in her case, the high dose was harmful because her body couldn't handle and eliminate the excess. This shows the need to moderate vitamin intake, especially for people with existing health problems or weak organs. Too much vitamin C can lead to oxalate crystals forming. For healthy people, this can cause kidney stones, but for those with already weak kidneys, it can lead to kidney failure as seen in this unfortunate case. This story also underscores the importance of medical oversight. People with chronic illnesses like kidney disease should talk to their healthcare providers before starting or continuing any supplements. This helps tailor the intake based on their body's needs. It's also important to notice symptoms that might indicate problems from high vitamin intake, such as changes in urine output, sudden swelling, fatigue, or heart rate changes. Recognizing these signs early can lead to timely medical help and prevent serious issues. Cautions and Prevention Vitamins are important for health, but they must be taken carefully, especially if you have health issues. The story of a 55-year-old woman 
shows the risks of taking supplements without proper guidance. It highlights the need to be informed and to consult healthcare professionals to prevent health problems. This video explains why a certain vitamin is considered dangerous. You wouldn't think that taking 1,000 mg a day, a common dose, could cause severe kidney damage, but that's exactly what happened to a woman with chronic kidney disease. This case emphasizes why we are focusing on this vitamin today. Many brands recommend a daily intake of 1,000 mg of vitamin C, saying it's safe and necessary. However, the reality is different and needs close examination. The 55-year-old woman's severe kidney damage after taking this dosage highlights a bigger issue with many brands suggesting similar amounts. People often think vitamin C is harmless, but that's not always true. This example shows that more isn't always better. While small amounts can be good for you, too much can be harmful, especially if you have kidney problems. If you are taking vitamin C supplements, it's important to check your dosage. While 100 mg a day might be enough, taking 1,000 mg can hurt your kidneys. It's very important to make sure you don't take too much. For people with chronic kidney disease, carefully managing vitamin intake is essential. Getting the right dose is crucial not only to avoid harm but also to ensure good health. If you want to learn how to safely take vitamin C, follow our channel. We will guide you on safe practices for taking vitamins, especially if you have kidney health concerns. Understanding how vitamin C can cause serious issues is also important. Vitamin C, or ascorbic acid, is usually dissolved in water and removed through urine when taken in normal amounts. However, in higher doses, it can crystallize and not be properly removed by people with poor kidney function. This can lead to oxalate buildup in the kidneys, forming kidney stones or causing more kidney damage. Therefore, people with kidney problems should be very careful when taking vitamin C. It's best to talk to healthcare professionals who can give advice based on your health and kidney function. This personalized approach helps reduce the risks of using supplements incorrectly. If you want to add vitamin C to your diet naturally, there are safer options. Foods like oranges, strawberries, kiwi, and bell peppers provide plenty of vitamin C and other beneficial nutrients. This is a safer and more balanced way to boost your vitamin intake. Thank you for tuning in. Always be careful with the supplements you take. For more tips on how to safely manage your vitamin C intake, check out our next video. Until then, take care and prioritize your health. Thank you for watching and God bless you all.